calling car 71, car 71. Go to the Metropolitan Shipyards. Meet an officer who was picked up at Prower. That is all. <laughs> Looking over this evidence, I find it very much against you. Unless you have something to say in your defense, I'll have to hold you for trial. Who was that man with you? I ain't talking. I ain't saying nothing. What's this? Is it yours? Never seen it before. It was found on him. Ah. A disc with the head of a black tiger. Where'd you get this? Why, I... I found it. Where'd you find it? I don't remember. Remember the tiger's orders. If they book Adams for trial, we move and move fast. We can't let him talk. Good. Police Commissioner Weston will be very interested in this black tiger disc, I'm sure. Perhaps he can help you remember where you got it. Ah. My good man, your record here shows you to be a three-time loser. The district attorney can put you away for life unless you talk. Well, come on. Ah, uh, Judge, I ain't gonna take the rap. I'll talk. I'll talk. Don't listen to him, Judge. That guy's liable to say anything to protect himself. What do you mean, sir? <laughs> Arrest that man. The shadow. Yes, the shadow. Stand away from that prisoner. <laughs> My things, Vincent. Yes, sir. Trouble? Yes, plenty of it. Drive to the bazaar and hurry. Hi, Wu. Plenty trouble tonight, sir? Nothing serious. I'm running into some now, I'm thinking. You watch the front, Wu. Yes, sir. You got me worried, boss. If the police ever find out who the shadow is, the fact that you're Lamont Cranston, eminent scientist and good citizen, isn't going to keep them from putting him behind the bars. Vincent, sometimes you worry too much. You're letting your hobby tie a rope around your neck. I know what you do is the shadow, but I don't understand this Lin Chang character. I've gained the confidence of the underworld through him. As a shadow, I make use of that. You'd save me a lot of worry if you'd tell the police you're definitely on their side. Sorry, I can't do that. There's one man on the force I don't trust. Oh, Wu! Wu Young! Take a look at this, Wu. Black Tiger's head. Isn't that an oriental design? Yes, it's a copy of an ancient Chinese drawing, Mr. Cranston. Not the superstitions about such animals? Yes. According to our legends, a black tiger was a sign of evil times filled with violence and destruction. Evil, violence, destruction. This black tiger is certainly running true to form. Our job is to find out what's behind this and who's trying to represent himself as the black tiger. And we're going to need all the help we can get. Uh, how can he sleep in here? What are you so nervous about, Russell? Oh, I don't know. Every time I get into the Black Tiger's headquarters, I get jumpy. Well, me too. I wouldn't mind so much if I could only see him, but not being able to. How does he do it? What kind of a light do you suppose he uses? He 
you got me, and I'm not going to try to find out. It's unhealthy to be too curious about anything connected with the Black Tiger. Well, hello, Flint. When did the Black Tiger say he'd get here? Well, how do I know till he comes through that private door? for you to understand. Even though I am but a beam of light, I can at all times see you. Now, let us proceed. Flint, step forward. Your report? Well, our plans to free Adams was upset by the shadow. Come to the point. Was Adams left in the hands of the law? Oh, no. He was about to talk, so I had to quiet him. And what happened to the shadow? He got away, but I don't know how, because we both shot at him and... And missed. He won't get away again. Now we will begin the destruction that will fill my power. Flint, Russell, Harvey, Roberts. Have your orders. Knock it out! Yes, sir. All right, fellas, you heard him. Give us a clue if they could only talk. Yeah, maybe we can make them talk. You know Lamont Cranston, the criminologist? That scientific guy over at the chemical company? Yes, that's the man. He helped us crack the Carter Jewel robbery just by examining the gloves found near the safe. The Black Tiger. I wonder where he figures in this. Or the Shadow. The Shadow? They're one and the same man, to my way of thinking. Yeah. Well, we'll try it. You'll give Cranston the chance to make these overhauls talk. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know why you take such chances. I worry about you constantly till I see you come through that door. Now you be careful, Margo. You know, worry causes wrinkles. Anyhow, it's nice to know my pretty assistant's concerned about me. How do you do, Miss Lane? Hello, Hello Marshal. I'm not interrupting your work, am I? I should say not. Cranston, I've done it. You're exposing for me. Yes. I'm going to give the mining industry the most concentrated and yet the safest explosive ever created. Thanks to your help, Cranston. Here, look at this formula. Your last suggestion did it. Come on in, Weston. Hello, Joe. Marshal, you know Commissioner Weston and Inspector Cardona. Yes, of course. Yes, All right. Sorry, well, is this an unofficial visitor or have I gotten into trouble of some kind? On the contrary, we're the ones in trouble. We need your help. These overhauls were picked up through the train wreck last night. Can you tell us anything about the man who wore them? Well, I'll see what I can do. Margot, get an acid bath ready. Yes, sir. I'll fix this up right away for you, Weston. Good girl, Margot. Well, here you are, Weston. Maybe this will help. Here's a description of the man that wore the overalls. Height, 5 feet, 8 inches. Weight, 145 pounds. Black hair, left-handed. How can you tell that? Wear and tear in the left-hand pocket compared to that of the right. This man has probably worked on the waterfront. What makes you think that? Saltwater stain. And there were some hemp strands, which I found to be oakum. Well, sounds like magic to me. It's merely a scientific fact. Well, thanks a lot, Cranston. And uh, what can you do with this? Let's see it. Where'd you get this? It was found in the pocket of the overhauls. Beautiful workmanship, isn't it? I don't make anything out of it. Weston looks to me like an ordinary pocket piece. Well, we'll start a search for this character at once. We'll give our mug gallery the once over. Right. Thanks again, Cranston. You're very welcome. Anything I can ever do for you. Uh -huh. 
searching for is tied up in room 25 at the Acme Hotel on the waterfront. Hello, hello. Cardona, go to the Acme Hotel, room 25, and pick up the man you'll find there. Yes, sir. See if you can place that last call. Drive home, Vincent. I should get a call from Weston the first thing in the morning. Service. Well, hello, Cranston. Thanks for coming over. We just picked up a suspect answering that description you gave us. Oh, good. We got him by following up a tip from the shadow. Ever hear of the shadow? Certainly. I read the papers. Strange, they don't seem to know very much about him. No one does. I thought you might know something about him. Oh, why should I know anything about the shadow? You shouldn't, but I thought you might. Well, sit down, Cranston. I want you here while we question the suspect. Yes, sir? Send in Cardona with the prisoner. Yes, sir. Do you know who the shadow is? No. <laughs> I wished I did. What about the black tiger? Never heard of him. Why did you send for me? Because we found this card on him. He was trying to ditch it. What's this memorandum? Cranston Lab at 2 o'clock. What does it mean? Answer it. Never heard of it. Where is it? I don't like the looks of this. It's nearly 2 now. I'll have to hurry over there. You go ahead. We'll follow. Take him out and lock him up. No, 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 never mind that. But Cranston, they got my formula. The police are doing everything within their power. Yes, but in the meantime, trains are being wrecked, airlines damaged, communications interfered with. Commissioner Weston, it should be possible to locate the cause and put a stop to it. Well, we're trying. Uh, uh, may I say something, please, sir? You see, the situation has deeper roots than you think. For instance, the wrecked trains and airliners were not robbed, although they carried great sums of money and valuables. That's right. True. Right. The entire thing has the appearance of a well-laid, well-organized plan conceived by a mastermind who hopes to gain absolute control of our wealth and resources through destruction. Yes. Have you any idea who this mastermind is? Indeed, I have. Everything points to one man. 
The Black Tiger. So what is it, Jimmy? Pardon me, Mr. Craston. This is marked important. Oh, who brought it? Motorcycle messenger. He rode away. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. No one but our group was supposed to know of this meeting. Yeah, that's a fact. What's this thing? Careful, Craston. That's all right. Let's see what's in it. useless to resist my plans. Stanford Marshal, your explosive formula is in my hands. It was he. Albert Hill, I have already struck at your airlines and your railroad, Stephen Prescott. And your crusading newspapers on my list, Frank Milford. As for you, Mr. Kent, this is a definite warning. I am going to strike at your radio chain tonight. Please, please. Now, there's nothing to get excited about. Now, just sit down just a moment, please. Why, gentlemen, this is simply a recording cylinder. It's very clever, huh? I'd like to examine it. Oh, oh, right. Right. Yes, yes, what do you think of this? This is fantastic. Ghastly. No, no, not ghastly. It's a break. Hello. Oh. Uh, hello, Marco. What are you doing back? Tonight is the television preview. Have you forgotten? <laughs> I'm afraid I have. But you'll have to excuse me, Marco. I've got some very important work to do. Oh, well, that's perfectly all right. I'm used to the sudden changes in your plans. Good girl. You let me know how it turns out. Busy? As usual, Mr. Weston. Hello, Cranston. Hello, Weston. Find anything on that cylinder? No, it's the standard type. Gloves were used, so there's no fingerprints. I really believe the Black Tiger means to strike at Kent's radio chain tonight. Oh, yes, but the question is when, where, and how. I've got my men planted near every radio station in the city. But I'm afraid the attack may come at some unexpected point. Oh. Wait a minute, Weston. I've got an idea. That prisoner, Williams. Release him, and perhaps he'll lead us to the trail of the Black Tiger. Now, I admit it's a slim chance, but it's the only one. I'll give the order. No, 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 don't, don't do that. You release him yourself. I want to be outside that jail when he comes out. All right, Taylor. a phony call to have that place ready at once. Then move around to rear and watch the place. Stick them up or I'll blast you. What's the big idea? You know, we might have pumped you up by mistake. Had no time to notify you of my arrival. And bearer of important news. Two policemen invaded my store looking for oh, stolen goods. <laughs> I overhear them talk. I hear them say, this place be raided tonight. Raided, are you sure? Oh, very certain. Having no love for police, I come to warn you. It's the 
cops. Out to the tunnel, quick. <laughs> came in our getting here, you know, the cops raided the house. Lynch, I gave us a tip. I had a boy, Lee. Oh, thank you. It was very little. Hey, what's the orders? Go to Kent's television exhibit. Take the bulbs with you. Look out! Do you want to blow us to pieces? <laughs> Steady, cat. <laughs> These bulbs are prepared according to Marshall's formula. They won't explode without an electric contact and intense heat. Huh. Well, you don't expect me to walk in with these, do you? Well, like listen. Robinson's address is one of the workmen. He'll know what to do with the bulbs. Police make it with me? All of them. You better get moving. Snap into it. Uh-uh. You stay here, Chang. We don't want anyone loose who knows about this job till it's over. Oh, you don't trust me? Guys in my game, we don't trust anyone. Sabi? That's okay. Stick around, Ling. You're tied up with that Oriental Bazaar, ain't you? In the books, I am down as owner. I use it as a listening force. Oh, that's how you were able to tip off Williams to the raid tonight. Yes, I am glad to be able to do favor for my friend. Hey! Oh, no, please! Please! television exhibit. Hurry. Where, where's Cranston? He's awfully sorry, but he won't be able to make it. And I wanted him to see it. It's going to work. Good. I'll make a report. Hurry up, Roberts. Yes, sir. Bulbs. Yeah, three of them. Where's the switch in the basement? Yeah, but I've only got the chandelier on the switch. I'm cutting in on the main power line on the floor below. Oh, I'll get to that. Are you in the clear? Sure. This sap can has put me in charge of everything. Swell. I'll get going. You two guys stay here. You come with me.
to the basement, cut the current at the main switch, and then get back to the car and wait for me. Now, you're all my friends, and I know you hope this is going to be a big success. I thought television was only in an experimental stage. Not exactly. We've made a lot of progress. Now, the juice we want feeds through here, independent of the main switch. Yeah? This will step up the cone enough to get those nitro bulbs exploding in three minutes. Something must have gone wrong. It won't be a minute. Go to Kent's television exhibit, a riot. That is all. Dooms Margolene to death. Trapped in Cranston's laboratory by the Black Tiger's men, Margot tries to defend herself. A dangerous acid explodes. Margot fights for her life in the deadly fumes. She is overpowered. Will Margot escape? This is one of the many breathtaking episodes seen next week in The Shadow Attacks.